Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about my skills and the fang companies. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, do you think that your current skills are enough to get a job at one at any one of the fang companies? And the short answer is, I don't know. Because I don't think that it's just based on skill. Let me explain. So there's a quite a few different articles that will uh, mention that there are senior developers who have complained about age discrimination, for example, to companies such as Google and so forth. And also there's quite a lot of emphasis on the recruitment process of these companies. And I always thought that this was kind of hilarious. And I think, I honestly, I think that this has to do with some really, really weird misplaced entitlement, if that makes sense, or is it an ego thing? I don't really know. But I find it really strange that people can launch a formal complaint and make such a ruckus over what in essence is something that they don't have anything to do with. It's none of their business how, how Google, since Google and like Facebook and all these companies, I mean, they have a recruitment process. They're not asking you to pull your pants down. They're asking you to solve trivia questions usually or coding interviews and like go through long processes and you can opt out of that at any point they're not forcing you to do any of this there's nothing going on that is morally bankrupt and yet people like people complain that they're being discriminated against or that uh, like sure claiming that you're too old or like that that's something that was a factor isn't really nice but then again how many women out there are being discriminated against for being pregnant during the interviewing process guys it's it's the world L learn how it works doesn't mean that we have to like it shouldn't work that way but it is the way it works and until we can fix that well maybe complaining is the way to fix it but for me i believe i truly do believe is that you getting a job in one of the fan companies is not just down to how good you are and I will be the first person to, to admit to you that my trivia skills or my trivia kung fu is weak it is weak as fuck and it's weak because I don't care enough to actually maintain it because I don't really care how good my implementation of a binary sort algorithm is or how fast I can make a graph searching algorithm or anything like that. I don't care, not because I don't find it interesting, it is because it's something that I will not try to maintain that unless I actually need the skills to do this. Do I know how to do this? Yes. Would I be able to do that in a reasonable amount of time in an interviewing process? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe I won't. I haven't actually ever done uh, done any uh, anything like it. I have been contacted by a few of the fan companies, not all of them. I don't th no, I've never been in contact with Netflix, but the others, yes. And so my profile clearly states it seems to have some interest and relevancy to these sorts of companies and I have friends who work at these companies. So it's and I have co-workers right now who used to work for them. Like it's uh, it's a, uh, I, I can only say that, guys, the recruitment process is not perfect. So even if you have the skills, and that's like what these senior developers that have, have been rejected, and like why Google and these sorts of companies have these sorts of processes, because like they have a flawed system for recruiting, of course, but it's, not, it's a system that is designed to make it easy on the company to recruit people. Because if you have a thousand people coming in the door every single day trying to get a job, you have to have a way to just really quickly flush people out. And it doesn't really matter if you you lose some, and they are very open with this, at least Google was, uh, I read this a while back, that they will rather say no to a good person than risk getting a bad person into the company. That's, what, that's their, their company policy. And that's why I'm saying that you can literally be dismissed just by a bad piece of luck. 
having the wrong recruiter, having the wrong sweater. There's so many different things that could have happened if you don't get the job. That it, and it doesn't mean that you can't do the job when you're inside. And that's the thing, right? If you wanted to make a really accurate test for a candidate, then it w should be designed to very clearly reflect exactly the sort of work that you're supposed to be doing once you're in on the inside. The problem with that sort of high quality test, quote unquote, is that it takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of investment to do that. And if Google and Facebook and Amazon and so forth, if they don't want to have that process, then that's, I mean, that's their decision that it doesn't really affect them all that much because it w they can still get more people in if they so choose to. My company has the same has th that exact process where we try to create a test that is very tailored to the work that you're actually going to be doing because we want to know if you know how to do that work. We don't care if you uh, if you sit and study, study trivia questions all day long because those trivia questions are not going to help you when you start working. That's not going to produce money for our company. And so for me, if you ask me if I believe that my skills are enough to work in the fan companies, I know that I can do their job because the stuff that they do, depending on what team you're do talking about, of course, is the same sort of stuff that everybody else is doing. Do you think that there's some magical coding going on at Facebook and Google and so forth that is so above everybody else that nobody else can even understand what's going on? Of course not. There are junior developers who are working at their first days at these companies and I don't care if they have a master's degree. Odds are that they won't even know how to use most of the tools available to them because I have met pretty much enough of uh, high school grad uh, college graduates and even more senior developers who've been working at these companies and they I, I look at their code and I understand what it's doing and they look at my code and they usually understand what it's doing when I have a bad I have a good day so it's not like there's a fast difference here guys it's more complicated than that so what I want you to take away from this is that I believe that quite a lot of people who didn't get a job at Facebook or Google or Amazon or Netflix or whichever or Microsoft and so forth have the skills to work there but they can't hire everybody and their process of elimination is a very rough one. It's going to be optimized to getting the best of the best. That's what they're trying to get at. That doesn't mean that you wouldn't understand what was going on once you're in the inside. They just want to feel confident in that they can screen out all the other developers and just get the top brass. That's what they're going for. That doesn't mean that the top brass is so vastly better than you that you can't do their job. It's just that they pass the bar, you did not. And if you ask me, I don't know if I would pass the bar because if I were to try, I would have to sit for quite some time and study a bunch of trivia questions in order to just prepare myself to face these sorts of challenges when I get to the interview and knowing myself I would probably go away about it the same way I have for other companies and that even though I knew that they were going to do trivia questions and that was like I really I didn't do it I didn't practice at all I just went in and I said if I don't know this stuff if my if I can't logically figure this out without preparing myself this much then I don't th think I should and I should probably not be here because I don't, I, I don't want to get a job where I d I'm not smart enough to have that job. And if the only way to me, for me to prove that I'm smart enough is to study a bunch of trivia questions and then I get the job, well, that doesn't really sound good because then the people on the inside probably did the same thing. And if we don't know if they actually know how to code, then I'm gonna ha I'm gonna have coworkers who know a bunch of trivia questions but don't know how to how to code for shit. Hopefully that the fan companies have a solution for that problem because I have had that problem in my previous companies and we have dismissed people who could take down the trivia questions but couldn't actually produce a single line of meaningful code once they started working. Have a great day.